darling! Welcome back to Crock-Pot Empire. I'm Kimberly Bishop and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making Crock-Pot chicken and dumplings. We're going to make it on pressure cooker mode and slow cooker mode in the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker. So come on into my kitchen and join me and let's make chicken and dumplings together. I'm so glad you're here. I am so excited about this recipe. It is so warm and comforting and just one of those dishes that I know will be on repeat in your household. So let's get started by adding about a pound to a pound and a half of chicken breast strips. And then we're just gonna put all the additional ingredients right on top and then we're gonna let it do all the work for us. To the chicken, we'll add a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon of parsley flakes for some color. Now we're gonna give it the liquid that it needs to come up to pressure, so we're going to add two cups of chicken broth, making sure the chicken is well covered with the broth. Then we're going to add one can of cream of chicken and one can of cream of celery. Give that a big stir, and keep stirring until your soups are well combined with the broth. Then we're just gonna ground up some salt and some black pepper, roughly adding about a half a teaspoon of each. And then just give it a little stir to combine the salt and pepper. And you certainly can't have chicken and dumplings without the dumplings. There are so many ways to make dumplings, and my grandmother Dicey used to make them from scratch. But we're gonna cut a few corners today using Pillsbury Grand's Southern Homestyle Buttermilk Biscuits. So we don't have to roll that dough. In all seriousness, we still have to cut the dough. So we're gonna take our pizza cutter and we're gonna cut our dough slash biscuits that are pre-made into fourths, sixths, or eighths. I did it both for two different recipes and my family found that we kind of like them cut up more into eighths, but it's total preference. No matter how big or small you choose your dumplings to be, make sure you pat them down into the soup mixture so that they are slightly covered. Place the lid on lock, turn the valve to no venting, press the poultry button, adjust the time to 17 minutes, and press start. If you prefer to cook this dish on slow cooker mode, place the lid on lock, turn your valve to venting, press the slow cook button, adjust the time to six hours, and press start. Just like making sure your valve is turned to venting on slow cooker mode, another notable difference when cooking these chicken and dumplings on slow cooker function is that we're going to wait to drop the dumplings in until 30 minutes before serving time. Otherwise, they'll overcook. So after about five and a half hours of cooking time, or even six if you're a little late, go ahead and drop your dumplings in, place the lid back on, and let the dumplings cook through. When the timer goes off, do an immediate release and you have perfectly cooked chicken and dumplings. These are the bigger dumplings that we talked about earlier that are cut into force, and they're a little big. And like I said, my family just preferred the smaller ones that may not look as pretty when you open up the pot, but in our household, we're not looking for beauty. We're looking for yumminess, and this is yummy. And although this may not be my grandmother Dicey's scratch chicken and dumplings, I know she's so proud of this recipe, and so am I. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you tried these chicken and dumplings, please let me know in the comments below. And also, you can get the ingredients and full recipe card on my blog at www.crockpotempire.com. Thanks so much for watching. See you right back here in my kitchen next time on Crock-Pot Empire.